Hey everyone, my name's Derek, um, and I, as mentioned, I'm a senior director at Wind River, uh, where I focus on leading uh, our Linux portfolio. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about uh, what we've got going on, uh, some observations uh, from our learnings in the past, as well as announcing a uh, new uh, Debian derivative uh, that we're super excited about called Elixir. Uh, first, a little bit about Wind River. Uh, Wind River's legacy has been rich in Linux and in open source. Uh, you may not know, uh, but we were a founding member uh, of the Yocto project. So historically, we've been very focused on edge and embedded computing. Uh, more recently, we've moved into um, some of the more uh, core type of type of distributions. So we've been contributing to CentOS uh, as well as Debian, um, and we've also been a co-founder uh, of a multitude of projects, uh, including, as I mentioned, Yocto, Starling X, and we are a founding member of the Open Handset Alliance. So we have a rich history, uh, both in Linux uh, and in open source. So I want to talk to you a little bit more about some of our observations uh, from the edge. And as you can see here, we've got a chaotic landscape, especially with uh, the proliferation of higher compute uh, devices at the edge, whether it's maybe Xeon processors running in a VPX chassis, uh, whether it's uh, higher compute uh, in terms of I'm running cell towers, uh, things of that nature. And what we're finding is there, there's a lot of Linux offerings and solutions uh, that go from embedded to enterprise, but there's not a unifying solution. So for example, if you're on the edge and you want to build Linux, you may use Yocto to do a source distribution, you may use a Debian derivative, um, but we're not finding a true edge to core type of solution. And that creates a number of technical challenges along the way in terms of being able to uh, orchestrate your workloads, being able to uh, create and develop your software solutions. And what we're finding is the embedded folks are trying to move to the right, and the more traditional cloud folks are trying to move to the left. And that's creating a gap in terms of tools uh, and in terms of creating uh, solutions for a diverse set uh, of technical requirements from CPU architectures to different bootloaders, uh, whatever that might be. And what we want to talk today about uh, is introducing a new unified solution. We're super excited to launch this Debian derivative we're calling Elixir. Uh, again, what we want to be able to do here is create a solution, an operating system that moves from edge all the way back to core. And Elixir guides us through those various requirements and components to create that uh, edge to core ecosystem and ensures that each of the elements is going to create a unified solution. And as the compute power at the edge continues to grow, developers are less inclined to build their distro from source and they're focused more on a binary distribution. And we want to enable those developers to be productive very, very quickly. And the learning curve can be very steep. You have to learn to compile the kernel. What we want to be able to do uh, is create a new binary distribution that's robust, reliable, right-sized, and resilient. And here I want to highlight a little bit about how Elixir provides uh, the ability to create a unified tech stack from core to edge. We've created a set of tools and technologies that we're open sourcing here. Uh, we also want to focus on creating that minimal and extensible footprint. So we want to create something that's able to run on a very small device and also how, tap into the richness of the Debian ecosystem. We're also providing a series of performance tuning uh, optimizations for both the kernel and the user space, uh, and, and also providing a set of augmented hardware support, extended maintenance, and again, that commitment to open, open source and upstream first methodologies. So again, we're super excited about Elixir uh, and the opportunities that, uh, that it might bring uh, for developers. So we launched this in, uh, July, at the end of July at DevConf. 
uh, with a variety of partners, uh, as you can see here, and we're super excited about it. And we'd love if uh, the community here can join us, uh, whether it's developing uh, for different devices, whether it's providing hardware, whether it's providing documentation. This is really the call to action to be able to join us uh, in, in, in our efforts to create a harmonized solution that runs from edge all the way to core. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Excited to talk about Elixir and stop by our booth. <laughs>